Rack mounting computer equipment is cool, except for the computers themselves which tend to run hot. This past summer, my garage regularly exceeded 40 degrees Celsius. That's 104 diabetes Fahrenheit. Even my rack mounted Raspberry Pis with empty spaces above and below them still suffered, despite pulling only single digit watts of power. Until today. Thanks to $2 in plastic and some cheap 5 volt fans off Amazon, Raspberry Pi thermal throttling is no longer an issue when rack mounting. To print this yourself, you'll need to be able to print a couple of 241 by 44 by 40 millimeter objects, but thanks to the magic of printing at a 45 degree angle, you actually don't need a full size CR10. A 200 square millimeter print bed should be fine. STL files are available for download at 3dpc.xyz. Printing braces for the backs of the fans is incredibly easy, with four short parts for a three 120mm fan configuration, or two long beams for a two by 120mm fan setup. The fans I linked below came with fan screws, otherwise they're just the standard computer fan screws that hold all of these together. The fans I bought have adjustable speeds, but I only tested them off and at full speed. Maybe in cooler months I'll just have them set to a lower setting. To figure out how much cooler the Raspberry Pi 4s would run, I had a 4GB Pi open 4 Chrome tabs. One Chrome tab for every gigabyte of RAM. Sounds about right. And it also ran a Minecraft server, putting us at a constant 90-95% to CPU load. A 2GB Raspberry Pi 4 was playing back a 20GB 4K Blu-ray. If you've seen my Ultimate HTPC video, then you'll be disappointed to know I flipped it on Craigslist and now I'm running a 2GB Pi 4 as my home theater computer. Hey, it still runs Steam in-home streaming and plays a 4K Blu-ray. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see just how well it does. That Blu-ray playback Raspberry Pi had a sustained 40% CPU load. With these two Raspberry Pis chugging along, we were at 70 to 72 degrees Celsius for playing back a movie, and on the Minecraft slash 3D printer monitor in the Chrome tabs, Pi, it was 81 degrees sustained, occasionally peaking as high as 84 degrees Celsius. Neither Pi is overclocked. Turning the fans on, the temperature drop was about as fast as the price drop on used 2080 Ti's at the RTX 3000 announcement. Remember, ambient temperature is 40 degrees Celsius here. Our movie watching Pi was a consistent 49 to 50 degrees Celsius, and the Minecraft server 58 to 60 degrees Celsius. All without heat sinks, just blowing air up toward the bottom of the Raspberry Pis. So if you have an unair conditioned server rack in Texas during the summer, you too can avoid the thermal throttling on your Raspberry powered Minecraft server. If you're looking for some cool new 3D filament colors, then make sure to check out the link in the description to my reviews, or you can check out this 3D printing playlist over here. Of course, there's also a Raspberry Pi playlist and a subscribe button because why not? If you're into 3D printed computery stuff, then you should probably check out some more videos.